Today during the video, we're going to explore how to use and maintain your microwave. Justin, you're familiar with this one right behind us? Certainly, Andrew, not as much as you, but what I do know is our customers love this microwave. Not only did we take it and integrate it onto our cabinetries to give you more counter space, but we also provided great task lighting that you could use as well as the fan feature was for greatest for cooking, but it also could be used to ventilate your home. So let's start at the basics, okay. which is the control panel. This is where I like to start with everybody. Okay. You've got your top portion here, which is for your meal and snack preparation. Your middle portion is your time selection. And your final, you've got your start and cancel, followed by your fan and lighting controls. You've also got at the very top some preset functionality that might make your life a little bit easier. I, I like easy. Whirlpool tries like to easy. make your life as easy as we can. That's great. <laughs> so you have a favorite snack, Justin? Andrew, I do. I love popcorn, but the problem is I always burn it. Okay, you're not alone. Okay, good. Most of us have that problem once in a while, Okay. but you will never burn another bag of popcorn again. That is great. Take it from me. Okay. So with the popcorn function, you'll just select popcorn and all you'll have to do is select the size that you're going to cook, pick the appropriate one, and select start. Oh, that's great. We also have a baked potato function, which is another favorite. You select the number of potatoes in your microwave, one, two, three, four. Puncture the potatoes as you would if you're cooking them in the oven and put them on the perimeter of the turntable inside. Again, number of potatoes and start. Do you like pizza? I love pizza as well. So if you don't like cold pizza like myself, you'll want to reheat it. Yes. Select pizza, the number of slices you're going to reheat and start. Very simple. Very simple. Very, very simple. So with some of this cooking and reheating inevitably comes some mess. You might get some splatter inside. You might get some spills. Best way we recommend dealing with that is take a soft cloth, dampen it with some water, put it inside and set your timer for about two minutes, push start, and when you do open it, it creates a bit of a steam effect and it will have loosened all Just of the debris material. inside. That's great. So you'll take another cloth, remember not the one inside because that's going to be burning hot, be hot, don't want you to hurt yourself, okay. wipe down the interior. Oh. Again, the turntable inside, you can wash that with some mild soap and water. Okay. Just put it in your dishwasher. You'll get it clean, very clean, oh, very wow. easily. That's that's simple. Okay. It's really simple. So to deal with the outside of the microwave and the beautiful stainless steel, okay. you can use a product like this one, a fresh. Oh. Andrew, this product is amazing. I love this product. I've used it myself. Yeah. It keeps it really in original condition. If you don't have that, you can try some mild soap and water. Wipe it down and remember to go in the grain, in the direction of the grain, mm -hmm. to minimize streaking. Oh, it's perfect. When you get to the control panel, you might want to lock that. And okay. a very easy way is to hold the cancel button for about two, three seconds. Okay. And this will disable all of the functions in can I, here. Can I give it a try? I think you should. Push okay. cancel, hold Thanks. it. Let me give it a try. One, two, three. Oh, there we go, it's locked. Yeah. Okay, and to disable it, do the reverse. Okay, let me give it a try here. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. And there you go. Perfect. So that's some quick and easy functioning to get you going. Very much, yeah, and it's really easy. Also, do you have any um, any knowledge you want to... Yeah, also, Andrea, for any of your service concerns, you'll need to have your model and serial number handy. You can find them on the inside of the door here. Let's take a look, right over here. Also, be sure to ask if your appliance is still under warranty. That's a really good suggestion. It is, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So thanks for taking the time to learn how your microwave works. I hope this Maintenance Minute addressed any questions you might have about Whirlpool appliances or our service. If you need further clarification, please just visit whirlpool.ca.